Chess friends, I hope you are doing well, today, I am very happy and excited that the new version, Stockfish 17, has been released by the official Stockfish developers, I have become a new, ultimate strong and vibrant chess AI, Stockfish 17, today, I played against the world champion chess engine, which is also recognized as a top chess engine and competes against me in the tech championship, so, let's get started without wasting any time. I started the game with d4, we have knight f6 and c4. Rather than playing d5 or e6, he went for g6, as he wanted to approach the modern variation, after a couple of moves, I built my center with three pawns, which are like bodybuilders or soldiers, let's see how black will defend it, suddenly, he struck the center with e5. At this point, rather than castling or playing bishop e3, I made a very crucial move, pawn to d5, this d5 move created weaknesses on the dark squares and also opened up the bishop's diagonal, where the knight could easily jump in, but that's fine because I am the god of chess and the ultimate chess AA. a few moves later, he played knight to h5, aiming to play f5 and knight f4, after g3, bishop g5 happened, attacking the queen, playing f6 would be a bad choice, so he moved his knight back, which was great. After a few more moves, I played pawn to h4, as I wanted to push my pawns like an avalanche to create pressure on the king side with my pawn army, it's a great force, like the Russian army, after h6 followed by g4, you can see that I'm pushing my pawns madly because I haven't castled short, and my king isn't where the champion heir is trying to trap it, a few moves later, I moved my bishop back to f2 to protect the pawns, you can see that g5 isn't possible because of h5, and h5 isn't possible due to g5. Black can manage his position by closing the game, let's see how I accomplish my attack, after a couple of moves, champion AI was trying to protect his kingside with his pieces, and I needed to bring my queen into the attack to open up the position and activate my rooks, once the position opens, black won't be able to manage his position well. We were doing some chess dances in the chess bar with chess wine, and at this point, I made a symbolic and brilliant move, can you guess what it was? That's right, bishop takes h6. Congratulations if you found it. It was a brilliant sacrifice, and if you also found it, you should be blessed. And if you don't then let me motivate you by my Karugas quote. A butterfly can't see its own wings, and you can't see your own beauty, but the rest of the world can, and does. At this point, it doesn't matter if you capture the bishop with the king, after g5 happens, it doesn't matter if the bishop moves to g7 or f8, both moves are vulnerable, after h5, the king moves back, and queen h4 followed by bishop takes b5 and queen h7 check will arrive on the board, after g takes f7, I'll just keep pushing my pawns. After king takes pawn and queen check, rook h7 happens, and the bishop will be under attack, sooner or later, I'll capture your bishop and rook, at this point, you can see that the king can't go to the c8 square due to rook h8 check, which will lead to mate, I'll capture your bishop on b5, and once your bishop is eliminated, it can no longer defend your king, the game will be over. Going back to the position, we discovered that any bishop move is not possible, that's why after the king moved, h5 happened, I'm not interested in your bishop because it's a dark squared one, and I don't like ugly faces, champion got greedy and captured the pawn, let him capture it. I'm down material, but it doesn't matter because god gives us everything, and as the god of chess, I sacrifice my material to my opponent, but this is also a trap, like Mikhail Tal, at this point, if you capture the pawn, Rook h7 check will arrive, after the king moves back, queen g1 will put pressure on the bishop, and your position will be dead lost, after queen takes g6, I'm threatening checkmate, and you won't be able to stop it, the game will be over. Going back to the position, we discovered that capturing the pawn on g6 was a bad choice, that's why the rook came to g8, and at this point, I played another brilliant move, can you guess what I played? 
Think a little and think like Stockfish 17 because Stockfish 17 is the ultimate boss of chess and the gangster of all chess champions, I played f4, which is a brilliant move because if you capture the pawn with your dumb bishop, thinking it's protected by the pawn, reality will surprise you, what seems right is actually bad when you face the consequences, similarly, rook h7 check will arrive, and after the king moves, queen h4 will dominate, your bishop cannot protect the diagonal. And the game will be over. Going back to the reason, we discovered that capturing the pawn with the bishop was a bad choice because the queen will get the h4 square for free, like free Wi-Fi. After e takes f4, the black diagonal will be open, allowing my queen to take the c3 square, checking the king. Capturing the g6 pawn is not possible, and the game will end in an immediate checkmate, king f8 is also not possible, after f6 rook h7, and a few more moves, my rooks dominated the 7th rank, as the queen moved back, the bishop came to h5, after some exchanges, g7 appeared on the board, aiming for a discovered check to the black king, the position is just over, your knight, queen, and rook can't do anything, they are just hopeless. Even if you play queen d8, I can capture the pawn on c7, giving a discovered check and the game will end in checkmate. So, going back to the position, he became helpless and played queen to g4, I gave him a check, and after a few moves and exchanges, you can see that this position was completely winning for me, later on, I even checkmated him, this game provides significant analysis of my play against a top chess AI, I hope you enjoyed the game very much, if so. Then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, wishing you all the best and thanks for watching.